back, everybody. You have to what Kleenex we're bringing everything in. That's awesome in gaming. Let me get my mic a little bit closer here. So we've been doing the Shadow Run. Log Shadow Run. I'm pretty excited. We are. Of course. This is the best acoustics. I actually put my um, mic low so that it picks up my voice a little bit better. So we are, very obviously, in a fight to the death with the Brotherhood, the Evil Brotherhood. Pass the door in a short passage leading to a freight elevator. Hit the down button and the elevator rumbles its descent. Past where a basement would be. Past where the parking garage would be. The doors open to a very different environment from the one you left. Gone is the airy, soothing atmosphere of the, bu the Brotherhood's public space. So we're in a fight. Fight to the death, friend. Fight to the death. So let's see what we got going on here. We have... Um, basically an endless amount of enemies. What we have to do is hack through the Brotherhood's net. You can drop these guys. These are the Tremble Wampa of the enemies. They get knocked down and they just get back up again. Real thing. So we are going to obviously continue dropping them. It defies us a couple minutes with not pounding on us. But then they immediately regen. As spirits, they're not too bad. So we're gonna hack the heck back in. We just have a basic deck, which kind of sucks. Um, you can worry a little bit more about credits and stuff. Kind of, um, yeah, see, it's immune to damage. You basically have to wait out its spirit form and just block. We do have two hackers, which is awesome. It gives me the opportunity to really jack in there. So at some point this should drop me into the net. There we go. And all that I'm trying to do is very simple. I'm just trying to get from point A to point B here. Not get dropped. Unfortunately, there are a lot of en enemies in the game and uh, immediately mess. Why would I not immediately mess? I don't know how they could hit me from there. Apparently, they can. Out the way! I mean, we could functionally skip. All right, so we're gonna have to go back. Okay, so we get the door control open, um, which is this node right here. When you hack into the net, you take on a spirit body so they can kick you out, um, but they can't do a whole lot else. So this guy rec recognizes Mary Louise. Harkeem, is that you? Call me some Sumeti, please. We're in an unsecured node. Hang on, I'm running a decoy operation with Mira's utility to mask you so the rest of the Brotherhood's grid doesn't swarm you with lies. How'd you find me? You have a very distinctive tra trail ML. You need to work on that. Now what's going on in there? There's no time. The next level the Brotherhood is always talking about? I think they transform into um, undead bugs. I had heard some rumors on Shadowland. This is worse than I thought. I warned you about these people. You've got to get out of there. Way ahead of you. This node controls the doors. We're free. Now we just need to get out of here. I'll see you soon, I hope. Tell the leader of the runner team if you contact Baron Smeddy in the Matrix as soon as they can gain access. Tell them I'll be looking for them. Hold on, big brain, I want to know. Okay, slow down. Who are you exactly? His natural tone switches immediately to his Baron Smeddy persona. Ah, the lurker in the Matrix speaks. But you would be better to ask who she is. Alas, there is no time. This place is dangerous. You and Mary Louise must get safely away, then we'll talk. You got it, homeboy. It's like, let's do it up. I am all for it. Go to the top stand. We've got bugs. They literally just turn on dead as soon as you uh, block them. Oh, maybe that actually dropped it. That was a really annoying habit when you kill something that immediately becomes a spirit which you can't hurt. Probably followed by getting back off. Let's just put all these horrible things together. So 
vehicle actually to reload it. He's got a semi-automatic freezing on semi-automatic. But it's a street sleeper, which is surprising. Obviously by my standards. I mean, I, I'm feeling that, you know, they want you to feel... Whatchamacallum. You know, a tinge of despair, if you will. A bit. A touch. What did I do? Did I break it? How did I break it? Don't you crash on me! We are at the end of this game, but we're gonna see this through. It's, you know, it's only the smackdown. They want to get real. I know people too, you hacker junkies! I run some while my camera drops me off to the main it doesn't look like there's any adjoining rooms. Um, generally, I do explore a little bit more, but we're heading straight for the door control mode. So now we gotta um, jack back out and we're good to go. We're gonna exit. Got it. Done it. Doing it. Then we can exit back in the real world and presumably use the door. Not enough AP. Okay, so I can get to the edge of it, but I can't. I can't quite exit just yet. You have to have enough action points. And um, this is turn-based, so they're pretty religious about, you know, making sure that you do have enough action points to get up and make it um, Even though they're just keystrokes, you know. So what did that open? Not seeing anything in particular that I can get into that I don't know. We're just unloading bullets into something that's going to do them. This is what we do for entertainment. This and that takes you to the same place, so let's find out what's going on here. Okay, there's the door. So we'll have to make a break for it. I'll get out of the matrix. Let's we'll see what we can see about this mysterious brotherhood in this cult. Lack of personality, basically. How bland we can be. Let's see if we can make porridge jello. Alright, honey, you got enough action points to get through the door. Break us out. Coyote's awesome. And we kind of accidentally picked her up in one of the first um, side quests, basically. You wind up at a brothel. It's a bar, but it's also a brothel where your friend Sam used to hang out. And he's been killed. He left you a lot of credits, um, a lot of money, uh, to find out who killed him. So we knew somebody was on his tail. We thought his twin sister was involved with these black girls. And um, she was doing all sorts of things. She um, worked with the Emerald City Ripper, who harvested organs from her mother's body. It was just too real. So, um, we go through that whole thing and wind up here. Hanging out with her um, partner, and they're kind of building the brotherhood to something quote unquote greater. Link in the description below if you do want to play along. Also, down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. They'll put your logo on merch from Open Box. Look at that. You can support the Pirate Queen, support our channel. Love when you slap our logo on things. Stickers are nothing box coffee mug isn't too bad. You can just have the coolest coffee mug around. Marie Louise is putting on top face, but you can see she's spooked. Thanks for the rescue. I'm getting out of here. Who was that? Just where are you? You getting out of here sounds like a good idea. Where are you going? Just glass side maybe in shock. I gotta get out of here. Don't worry about me. I'll see you around. She's not gonna tell me anything. An image suddenly lights up your comm link. Clearly a non-standard transmission. However it is, they're using the matrix to type beam their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell the voice has been modulated. Bonsoir, mon ami. You must be careful with these devices. They can be hacked if you're not careful. We meet again and you are... Forgive me, I'm the Baron Smetty. Perhaps you have heard of Smetty. He's the decker of unique gifts. Some of us have gone so far as to call him a technomancer. We two we have common knowledge now and we share common purpose. Get off my comm link. It's not a good time. Explain yourself. The girl, she's important to Smetty. He's grateful for your timely assistance to her and finds himself in a position to return the favor. Smitty knows the one you're after. He knows, and he, help you, he can help you get to her. 
That's convenient. This comlink, it's not a secure connection, is it? No. We need to meet face to face, so to speak, in cyberspace. Why not meet me in the real world? Ah, you see the Baron, he's unable to do such a thing in his current condition. But enough about me. Suddenly the Baron's flowery speech is gone and he's all business. Get to a secure jackpoint, enter, sh enter Shadowlands, and I'll meet you there. Voyage! He grins and his image flickers away. Interesting. Well, we gotta get out of here. We just walked in the front door of the Brotherhood and then, you know, essentially fought our way out the back door with Marie Louise. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs. But she, if you're going to get her, you're going to need to find a way around or through, through those bugs. Oh, but she is. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress Union feel more like home than ever. I don't know that I used the word sordid there. Sordid has a hopeless connotation. Run down, uh, derelict even. <laughs> can derelict their own problems. Coyote's face is pale and her voice is low. What was that back there? What the frag was that? Super Brotherhood is transforming. Hide there's something. The Universal Brotherhood is all about belonging. And Sam's sister is their leader. If I didn't see it, there's no way I'd believe it. Giant, unfurable bugs. Whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. Go after her again, think of me, okay? I'll be around. Locked and loaded. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it here. Um, we fight our way out of the Brotherhood. Um, Marie Louise gives us a contact, um, but we, we do still have to track down the bad guy here. It turns out, you know, it's uh, Sam's sister's partner. Sam's sister is involved. But we have to reload so they do let you touch base. Mr. Johnson. Looking for work, I got a little something. So you can side quest here. Sorry, Slick, I'm booked. Got it, I'll come back and find you if I change your mind. You can explore a little bit. I am trying to burn through the main quest. We actually had already picked out another game. Um, I thought this was done when we went to the funeral, and it turns out there's several more pieces to this story. Universal Brotherhood, of course, being an interesting one. Hey, lady, have we met? You look familiar. Need some brain benders? Let's see what you got. It's got, like, stimulants and stuff. Uh, yeah, so you can uh, pretty much load up just the way you would in any TTRPG-based D&D uh, &D style. You know, um, where you have an inventory, you have characters and so on. Really fascinating story. They did a great job expanding out into Cyberpunk after D&D ran it. It's for Shadow and it's uh, based on the same point. Link in the description below. Gamer Ground is down there. KOF by, um, by this chick of coffee one dollar make me smile. Uh, you can also support us on Patreon. So if you're a little bit more used to Twitch or subscription based, we certainly have that. Um, so you can hit us up there. I can get to a secure comlink down here so we can go behind. They have a secret uh, area behind the piano. So hit us up on Patreon. You can support us that way. We do a lot of pro bono work for our indie devs. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we go back in time and find this out as well, you know what it was that brought us up to this point. So game mechanics, user interface, gameplay narrative, anything that's hot as well as um, anything that helps build. So that way you find out, you know, what is you like in gaming and what's bringing to the table every day. So hit subscribe and it's totally free and hit the bell. If you hit that bell, it'll pop you up a little thumbnail. You'll be able to see if you're following this series, you know, if you're really into it. Obviously we're gonna talk to Johnny Clean next he's gonna continue our continue our journey here. Um, so that would have popped up and, you know, follow the shadow run, the crime ridden, run down the world of Seattle in the future. After people morph into trolls and elves as a natural byproduct of the radiation and so on from modern technology just shooting ahead of safety measures. It's an interesting promise. So, we love you guys. We love your ears on the ride. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to see whatever blockbuster we're following or series that we're doing, or whatever indie games are bringing something to the table, and games that we can cross. Smash subscribe, and we'll see you 